everyone. I am Dr. Sumantra Kumar Rao. I am a pediatric nephrologist. Today I am going to discuss on fetal kidney swelling detected during a routine antenatal checkup of a pregnant mother. In the other word, it is also called antenatal hydronephrosis. This antenatal hydronephrosis is quite a common nephrological problem in today's gynecological and obstetric practices. This antenatal hydronephrosis simply means the fetus within the mother's abdomen has dilatation of his or her own kidney's urinary drainage system. It may involve either single or both the kidneys. It occurs in around 1 to 5% of all pregnancies and in recent years, it is more often detected due to the advancement of our newer ultrasound machine techniques. Uh, around 50 to 80 percent of such hydro- antenatal hydronephrotic babies will recover spontaneously by one to two years of age and will have an absolutely normal kidney function in the rest of their life. But 20 to 30 percent of such babies may have some underlying kidney defects, and less than five percent of them will have their permanent kidney failure in due course if not diagnosed or treated early. Rarely a child may die within the uh, uh, abdomen or soon after birth and these cases are better terminated in the early pregnancy medically particularly if both kidneys are involved and along with the amniotic fluid in the mother's abdomen is less as detected during the routine ultrasound scan. So antenatal hydronephrosis once diagnosed during pregnancy should be followed up by serial ultrasound monitoring as guided by our Indian Society of Parenting Nephrology guidelines. And afterward, the child should undergo MCD test, DMS test, and obviously further serial ultrasound to confirm the diagnosis and to confirm the further management. Overall, most of the child of the children with this antenatal hydronephrosis will get rid of this problem and have a normal kidney functions. But many a times, we never know which baby is going to have gradual kidney function deterioration. So. Once the child is diagnosed with such case, you need to contact a pediatric nephrologist early in the course. So that's why it can be followed up, re-evaluated and managed appropriately. Thank you.